much into the Halloween spirit. <laughs> this morning, we are exploring some spooky science with Carl Nelson from the Imagination Station. <laughs> you are one of our favorite guests. You are so fun. <laughs> it was cow eyeballs last week, and yes. today it is spooky science. Yeah. Spooky science. So, you know, Halloween's coming up, and we're trying to think of some cool, spooky sort of potion, kind of Harry Potter-like science we could do. Yeah. And it turns out you don't really need to go that far. Real food science can actually be pretty spooky. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So we're going to make some caviar here. So if you can see some of these little... Uh, they uh, look like caviar. Little caviar balls up they there. They don't... Uh, you, go ahead. They're not actually caviar. Yes. M food they scientists like. use some stuff called sodium alginate. Okay. You've, okay. you've already eaten it. It's in jams and jellies and pie oh, fillings okay. and things like that. It's a seaweed extract. I was okay. going to say, is that, um, what am I thinking of, uh, fructose or fructose? No, no, or? a little bit different. It's a, it's um, a seaweed extract that will thicken food. So give me your hand here. Okay. You're going you're gonna to get messy <laughs> here. Since what I totally it, screwed that other one up. What does that feel like? Um, stick your finger in there. Oh, stick my finger yeah, in there? Yeah, we gotta, yeah. I got a towel for you. It's sort of like a, uh, it's like a gel. It's, it's kind of like slimy. Okay. Yeah, it is it's slimy. Not, it is a little bit slimy. Now, the cool thing about sodium alginate is, yeah, oh, you need to, you need to Well, I was trying to show the camera and then, but yeah, okay. Now. The neat thing about this stuff is if, Chris, if you can add some of this calcium chloride, just a, a, a fingerful. Just, just a fingerful? Just sprinkle a little into bit of water. Here? Yep. Uh, now, the calcium chloride, when it gets in contact with the sodium alginate, will cause it to sort of gel up or polymerize, okay. thicken up a little bit. Go ahead and mix that up for me. Okay. Here's a spoon. Um, that, where do so, you get this stuff, anyway? Well, that is actually what you use to pickle pickles. Oh, really? It's like a, it is okay. gonna calcium chloride. It's, so right. it's gonna thicken this. It's not gonna thicken that. It's just gonna make the water a little bit salty with some calcium ions. Okay. Now, if we add some of the alginate, you can stop stirring. Okay. And as soon as that goes in there, it's going to thicken up. But you really can't see anything, can you? No. No, not yet. Chris, dip your hand in there and pull some of that stuff out. Really? That's fun. Yeah, just dip right in. It'll oh, be yeah, okay. come on. Okay. No way. Ooh, so look at that. Look now, at that. The neat thing about this is. It looks like brains. It looks like worms. <laughs> oh, it looks worms like worms, too. Right? Yes. It does. It's like, it, put, tease it apart. It's like yes. instant worms. Ooh, kids are going to love this. Now, they're going to love it. Kids smell a wig for you. <laughs> Believe me, some days it does look better than my hair. Let me tell you. <laughs> kids love that kind of stuff. But they do. But actually, if you've ever watched any TV show where they have celebrity chefs, uh -huh. you've probably seen them do this sort of thing. Okay. Because not only can you, I don't know, make worms like that. Chris, grab the blue stuff. Okay. Ooh, squirt squirt cool. some little droplets inside there. I'll try to catch them here. Okay. You're right, making, so you just drop it in. You're making like little caviar spheres there. Very cool. Okay? Now, real chefs would actually take this stuff and flavor it. Ooh. Okay? What would they do with it? Well, because well, if you have Halloween yeah. parties, kids love this stuff. Well, well here. Yeah. Try, try this one. Okay. Go ahead okay. and squirt, squirt a good dash right in there. Okay. All right. Keep going. You really load it up. Okay, Ooh, that, that's, that's pretty brown. good. That's okay. pretty good. Now, the neat thing about this is I've actually flavored this stuff. This is kind of like the <laughs> alginate comes from a brown seaweed, and mm. the salt in there is really pretty strong. So, Chris, what I'm going to have you do... It's very salty. It's very salty, but what you're going to do right now is just go ahead and take a taste of that. I can sample this? Mm -hmm. Sample it. Just Ooh, you pop are it so right brave. in the mouth. Pop it right really? in. Really? Go for it. Do it. It looks like do worms. It. it looks like worms. There you go. What does One it time. taste like? Licorice. There you go. Ooh. A little, little licorice flavor there. Licorice. Black licorice. Would you like a little bit? Sure. Yeah, it's um, not that bad. Although I'm not big with black. Ooh. Now, Chris, you said that you were... Looks uh, like something I cook, oh, I swear. Pop, pop it right <laughs> Which I can never eat my cooking. Just, just have a bite. Mmm. <laughs> Is that not cool? Yeah, it's very cool. Because it tastes better than my cooking. It does. It tastes, tastes better, better than my cooking. cooking. <laughs> Kids, dinner served tonight. Yep. <laughs> well, see, the outside <laughs> stays hard. It, mm -hmm. it sort of solidifies. But the inside is like a liquidy goodness that has the liquid that inside. What did you flavor that with? Because that's really cool. It's a like mixture grapey. of li uh, licorice and a little root beer. That is uh, cool. Extract. Yeah, root beer. You that's want a second help? Is? No, that's there we go. Stop oh, that. Chris, stop that. Because, you know, you, you, you can't do a cooking show without a secret ingredient of the day, right? Right. So our secret ingredient of the day Ooh. Our chili peppers. Okay. Now, I tried this last night. It's pretty potent. You up for it? He likes sure. the hot. I can't do I hot at all. I have the softest palate in the world. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make some. What do you want? Do you want caviar or do you want uh, worms? Uh, worms. Oh, worms. You're Those going. a little bit easier than the caviar. They that's, slide right off the spoon there. That's pretty hardcore because you're gonna have a lot here, oh, right? Oh, great. <laughs> you said so, you like that food. Caviar. Now, this tray just has regular water in it. Okay. We're sort of so rinsing, rinsing, it off. rinsing off the salt so that it's not so salty for mm. you. Now I know how they do it. Do I have to eat one of those peppers? No, no, no. Because no. I took those peppers and ground them up to make this extract. You were about to see a grown man cry if I had to. Ooh, All right, there you go. There you go. Give that a try. Okay. You are game. Now, it, I think the heat kicks in after a little bit. Right? Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, your eyes are watering. Okay, so now, go ahead. If you've ever had spicy food, you know that sour cream and this the fat 
the fat will help move that. Here, take, take, a, take a dash. Is That'll, it really? Oh, I thought it was milk. Fat. Well, any sort of dairy product that has like a fat in it will dissociate the, um, oh, the okay. stuff from your pain sensors. It's oh, sort good. Of, it's soluble in fat, so it takes it away. Oh, so it heat, does. Look at I, that. I've got a glass of milk. After you a glass of milk spicy. Well. Yeah. Very yeah. similar. My gosh, so I can this is again. way too fun. Now, where do you get these things? Um, you can actually uh, purchase this online. It's a okay. food grade uh, thickener. In fact, they use it um, in olives. If you ever had an olive with that pimento in it, yeah. really cheap olives, when the machine pushes out the pit, they'll squirt in a dash of this stuff, uh -huh. maybe a red flavored stuff, um, and oh, then cool. when they put it in the brining solution, like the calcium chloride that we had, it will um, turn it into a gel. So it's, very cool. it's a pimento paste, if you will. Not All right, Carl, you've given us enough uh, fun and good information for today, <laughs> I think, and fun. actually ended. Well, because you, the kids love it. a little fire. This would oh, be yeah. a great thing for a Halloween party for pretty much any age, I oh, think. Because we had fun, so. Mm. Didn't we? We were the guinea pigs. I know. That's can, why. Can you, can you talk after those hot peppers? <laughs> I you, think so. You are too fun, Carl. Right, Carl. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. Sure. Appreciate it. All right, stay with us coming up. WTL 11, your day. Imagination Station, by the way, is where you'll be going. Tips to help your trick or treater stay safe this Halloween. We're going to be right back after this.